Hi, it's Harry Mortlock here, and today I'll be speaking about the survey that I've created along with the other members of my group. And um, for this survey, we've been looking at what people are expecting to see within our opening sequence, uh, and specifically looking at um, the genre that we have chosen, which is thriller. And our survey consisted of 10 questions, and I thought that the responses were really helpful and that they'll definitely allow us to make tweaks to what we will be putting into our opening sequence to hopefully create a better to create a better opening sequence. So the the first question, which I think is a quite a key question, uh, is that we just asked what people's favourite film was from the thriller genre. And the majority of people said the film Inception, and I thought this was very interesting because of uh, Inception, it's a film that I like, I've seen it before, I think it's very interesting, and all the CGI and whatnot, it's a very good film. And then some of the other votes, people said um, films like Annabelle. Now, these two, diff these two films are very different, even though that they are still both thrillers. Now, Inception focuses more on sort of the action, sort of sci-fi sort of side, which I am personally most interested in. And then the film Annabelle uh, focuses on the sort of horror side of it, which is not my particular favourite. But I thought it was good to figure out what um, people's favourite films were, because then once we found that out, we could direct our film opening sequence to to those to those viewers to that target audience which is what this is all about and which is why we've created this survey to help with our target audience and other questions that we asked were talking about lighting because obviously that's very important when creating an opening sequence because you want to make sure that you get the feel of of the film because that's the whole point because it's supposed to draw you in and uh, so we've had people come back to say that you know that they want um, backlighting. You know they want to make sure that it's dark lighting to give that real sort of um, almost surreal effect because you know they want it to be impactful and stuff. And unlike if it was a romance uh, or whatnot, it would be you know very bright. You know showing the viewers that it's a very happy film. Whereas with thriller, it can it can be both. It can it can be happy but it can also be very serious at the same time and especially since if we're going off of what people have said about liking the film Inception um, that's it's it's not dark per se but it's you know it's not it's not a happy film or whatever and it's, it's very serious so going off of that people have said that they wanted you know dark lighting to really emphasize what's going on and stuff which I think is really helpful another thing is um, whether or not we should have action straight away in the opening sequence, which again I think is another good question because with or without action um, within the opening sequence, a good opening sequence should always be able to draw in the viewer. So I mean with action obviously uh, we could have that consisting of props and since it is a thriller it would be acceptable if there was some sort of crime involved or whatnot, which could lead to props leading of guns or different types of weaponry, which you know is very serious and keeps with the the theme and the genre. Or you know we could we could take a step back from the action and not have any action and just sort of have a quick sort of in, <sighs> we could just sort of have a quick introduction to to the film and which is what the opening sequence is all about and maybe introduce one of the main characters or maybe introduce all the main characters and by that without even using action um, we're, still, we're still able to draw in the viewer because they're learning about a character, they're learning about new people and which is what makes a film interesting and the whole point of a film is not just to sit and watch and just to observe, it's to, you know, the best, the best types of films are the ones that, you know, you can really absorb and the ones that you feel like that you're involved and by, and to me, I think that by learning the characters, uh, as in what their names are, I feel like it gives you a personal connection to the film and to the to those characters because straight off the bat you know who they are and you could even maybe get a sense of what they're like. And then which leads us to some other questions. Uh, I remember that we had a question of which consisted of three films asking which one was our favourite and we had Annabelle, we had Nerve 
and then we also had the film Seven. Now, the majority of people said that Seven was their favourite opening sequence, which, to be honest, is my, my personal favourite as well, because I really like the surreal effects, surreal effects that's, that it uses, and the fact that it uses shadows, and once again, it's dark lighting to create these harsh shadows, which I think really links in with the thriller sort of genre. So, um, yeah, so we used, so people said seven, which I personally really agree with, and there's, there's parts of the, the trailer which are, are really interesting, as it has quick cuts, and you know, it has a nice, uh, it has nice music to go um, in the background of it, which is, you know, quite low music, makes it very intense, very mysterious as it should be, and also there was never any scenes of the person's uh, face, only their hands, which, you know, shows that, you know, they're working for something and gives you a real insight on what's going on, which I think is very, very helpful. Whereas um, the opening sequence of Nerve, uh, pretty much straight away you learn exactly who the character is of V, and then you learn about their life as it shows that she is widely based around social media, uh, which is what Nerve is based around, about using social media to get people to interact with it, with one another. But um, that's the other side of the spectrum, as it, it's quite, it starts off with quite a light film, you know, it's very cheerful, with some nice background music and whatnot, but uh, then towards the end of of the actual, of the whole film it does get quite dark and you know it gets mysterious and you wonder what's going on which you know then relates back to seven you know relates back to the opening sequence of seven so it almost works backwards in that sense where as in seven kind of stays it stays harsh all the way through because obviously it's still a mystery and you want to know what's going on you want to know what this person is doing and why they're doing it and stuff so um yeah that's pretty much it